Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wars and to a new episode of The Neck Pour. Today we have the Jameson Potstill Irish Whiskey, bottled at 46%. This whiskey has been aged in five different types of casks, three of which are virgin oak casks. We have Irish, European and American virgin oak casks and then we have an ex-sherry and an ex-bourbon. Now, as you can see, this bottle's already been opened. Um, I actually recorded the review a couple of days ago, edited it, uploaded it to YouTube, and it's been copyright striked. <laughs> no idea why, so I'm doing it again. This whiskey going in, I'd heard stories that it's since it's pot still and it's from Middleton, it's going to taste like a young red breast. So I snapped it up. That, that wasn't even an option. I was definitely going to buy this whiskey. I have to be honest, I don't get the red breast impression that I know some other people do get with this whiskey. For me on the nose, it definitely gives me more of a Jameson nose. And I would say, I think, think the Jameson Crested for that orange and vanilla. And then think of the Black Barrel for something a little bit thicker and more uh, sugary. But there's also, I, I, I also get a little bit of banana on the nose as well. It is a nice nose. The sherry here is very subtle. It's there, you do pick it up, but it is subtle. Maybe slight hints of like a dry sultana. And little bits of sherry coming through. But it, <clears throat> it's certainly not going to be strong in sherry and certainly not as strong as what a red breast would be in that sherry note. Virgin oak casks as well, a little bit of a surprise to me. I thought they would bring a lot of a lot of spice, a lot of wood spice to the whiskey. Uh, on the nose at least, it's more prominent than previous Jamesons that I've had. So it is coming through a little bit, but it's not as uh, not as strong as what I was expecting. Okay, on to the taste. Oh, just before we do, if you haven't clicked uh, the subscribe button down below, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel out. And also clicking the like button as well does. Thank you. A little bit more sherry through on the taste. Oh, and I'm getting a little bit of wood spice now on the back end. Yeah, the finish gives you that wood spice. Originally, you don't get it too much, but on the back end, you do. And I think that actually improves the whiskey. It does remind me of the Black Barrel, though. It does have that sweetness, that vanilla, creamy sweetness, which is really nice. But it's a little bit more sherried than the Black Barrel. Um, I, I, I would actually think... In, ima <clears throat> imagine, like I say, if you had the the orange and the vanilla from the, or let's just say the orange from the crested, and then took that orange out and had the black barrel in front of you with a little bit of sherry added in and then a little bit of wood spice on the back end and you're not going to be far off. I was really thinking of comparing, doing a full review in the future, I'd, I'd like your suggestions, actually, if you could leave them in the comments down below. Which whiskey should I review this to when I do a full whiskey war? Originally, I thought the Red Breast 12. Now I'm thinking perhaps the Jameson Black Barrel. Um, let me know down below which you'd be more interested in seeing the differences between the two of. And I'll, I'll pick whatever people want to see. This is a nice whiskey. Of course, this is not a full review. I've only just opened this whiskey. I've, I've managed to have a few drams of it so far, but I do want to give it a month or two, let it open up, maybe drink a little bit further through it, and then and then do a proper review of it. I'll quickly touch on the price. The Jameson Pot Still Whiskey is available in Ireland for 60 euros, RRP, and in the UK at 50 pounds, which, I think works at, at about 55 euros, so it's slightly cheaper in the UK. I actually picked this up in cork duty free for 46 euros, 
so that worked out at about 41 42 pounds um for 41 42 pounds i think this is a really good whiskey i have to say though for a full 60 euros i'm not quite sure how much value you get since the redbreast 12 is 60 65 but you are getting an extra six percent in abv as well so that's something to consider but it is a non-age stated whiskey as well so i think the rrp is perhaps a little bit strong on the price um, but if you can get it a little bit cheaper, then I definitely recommend this whiskey so far anyway. So thank you all for watching this episode of The Neck Pour. Please do drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And please consider clicking the subscribe button to the channel. That really helps the channel out and it helps it grow. Thank you so much for watching uh, this episode of The Neck Pour. And I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Wars.